There's no doubt that these mini mealworms are thriving and breeding. However, I recently discovered that they are not, in fact, Tenebrio obscurus. I'd like to thank Ray Callahan for bringing this to my attention. He was culturing the same type of worm that I was, as far as we can tell. And he realized, by doing a little research, that Tenebrio obscurus beetles look quite a bit different from the beetles that we have. For example, their bodies are more elongate, and uh, many of the beetles have uh, lengthened forelegs in comparison to the ones that we have. So he brought some of his specimens to the uh, Virginia Tech Entomology Lab, where they were able to confirm that, indeed, the specimens he brought were not Tenebrio obscurus. Now, some of you might be wondering, well, what does it matter? They're easy to culture, they're active, and your geckos and so on are eating them. Well, that might be true, but there is a problem. Uh, some beetles can be pests. One beetle that's commonly cultured for uh, reptile and amphibian use for uh, cleanup crew in roach bins and things like that is Alphatobius diaporinus, the buffalo worm. Now, for me, culturing buffalo worms would be a big problem because in addition to geckos and fish and other creatures that I might feed them to, I was planning on culturing the mini mealworms in a large part to feed to my chickens. However, buffalo worms are a pest of chickens and can carry several fairly serious poultry diseases. So if that's what they are, I really don't want to be culturing them. So I'm going to continue my research to determine whether or not they are indeed Alphatobius diaporinus, the buffalo worm, and I hope that they turn out to be a non-pest species. But only time and some further research will tell.